And then the third part was whatever spirit wants to tell me. Right before she starts shuffling, she's like, how funny would it be if like, what's his face and that bitch come out? And the first girl that came out. <laughs> Is there anything going on? Girl, I hope I caught that on camera, how it just came out like that. Like it just, that's in the horizontal, 10 of swords, king of coins in reverse. Ooh, something's going on with money here. Something's going on with financial stability or security. He's not feeling it. Six of cups interesting there's something here where there's pressures of financial security and stability it's also swaying him to thinking of a past relationship and what i'm getting from spirit it's like that what she expects or what she desires is more than he feels that he could provide when he thinks of this person of the past it's like he thinks this person was just happy being in love with me this person didn't care about money didn't care about what i can give them financially this person just wanted me for my heart like that's the message i'm getting here it wasn't about the flashy thing it wasn't about what he could bring to the table or how big their house was how fancy their car was it was about the love he doesn't like it where he like you know made his bed the tower so there i feel like there's a fear of him losing a big asset a house car something like that like, what was more important for you in the relationship than having all that with one another was the love. And that's what he's reflecting back on too. That's what he's having nostalgia about. And should have been with somebody where it was about the love and not about what the material stuff we create. Almost like you were right, Angie, I was wrong. This is going to be a pride thing. Bitch, we got a whole fucking debt fucking reading is what we got. I know all about his finances, bitch. And when she said assets, I was like, Assets. <laughs> Apparently he, he's too prideful to tell me that I was right. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> I know. I know you fucked up.